up, buddy. Oh, it's another early Tuesday morning. Sonoma County, California. I get ready to drive my son to school. Oh, the retirement came through. I will be receiving from my retirement. Remember, works 40 hours a year for this company. They're going to give me, I think it's like 85 a month, something like that. $85 a month. I only worked there 40 hours a year. A year. So $80 a month. Eh, gas money. <laughs> It'll work for me. Anything beats blank. It'll pay for my new website every month. <coughs> um, a close friend of mine, my first YouTube family member, this man, he's like my, because I would call him probably my uncle on YouTube, because, you know, he reached out and he was already up here. But I look at him like, you know, it's my nephew. And I love this young man. It's the boss, Francis Copeland. Queens loves me. Now, he did a video, Whoever Kills the Dollar Creates a New World Order. And um, it's got all of his pages taken off. I don't appreciate that. This man... Um, he talks his political belief and he believes that the government should actually work for the people or there shouldn't be this government. We should replace it and it should be replaced with one that the people's interests best suit. I said that. So, he had an idea, but I'm going to take his idea and take it further. We here in America are struggling to the point of no return. Um, the rich get richer, the poor get crazy, the fanatical get more fanatical. Uh, the racial divide is becoming a public thing. In other words, you know, race has been hidden and kept under in the closet, you know, for like the last 40 years. And all of a sudden now it's coming out again and it's serious. So... Boss Francis, his video was based on the U.S. monetary problem. He believed that if you remove your money from the banks, then you can guide and tell the banks which banks should live and which banks should die. You could decide where the human, the, human, the U.S. dollars go. You ready? All right, give me three more minutes now, now that I start the video. So... In order to create a new uh, monetary system, we must remove our money from the banks. Once we remove our money from the banks, then we can tell, you know, ourselves, what well, you want to do with your money. What do you, this is our money. It does not have to sit in the bank. I'm going to take Mr. Francis idea and I'm going to put something on it if we the American people remove all of our money from the banks on October say 15th uh, go ahead and make preparations to pay your bills now remember you've removed all your money from the banks go pay your bills go buy your Christmas gifts and wait. The thing is, with your money in your pocket, you have total control over your money. If this Christmas season, the banks decided to collapse around Christmas time, that would throw a whole bunch of shit in flux. If you pulled your money out of the bank around October 15th, pay your bills the best you can. Come January 1st, the banking structure will be changed. These people will no longer just take your money, look at you, and laugh. They've gotten billions of dollars from the United States people. 
they didn't get the money from the government. They got the money from the people. And they get this money, and they will not turn it back over to the people. The whole purpose for the banks to be bailed out is so they can give people personal loans to take care of themselves. They can, you know, here's all these billions of dollars, give the money to the people. That's where the government made the biggest mistake in its entire history. If you would have gave that same amount of money to the people, the people would have paid the banks off by now. The banking situation would not be a situation. That's what happened. That's what went wrong. You gave the money to those who lost the money in order for them to give the money back to the people, which never happened. If you are paying your bills on time and you can keep your money in your home for the next 60 days, take your money home. Whatever 1% or 2% that they claim they're going to give you that you never really see, you're not losing nothing. Remove your money from the banks. Take your money home. And when it's time for you to go pick a bank that's going to be in your best interest, you will have the money to deposit it into the bank. That's what you should do. I'm not saying pull your money out of banks and never put it back in the bank. I'm saying pull your money out of banks right before they can loan it to somebody else and you can't get your own money. Because you know just around Christmas time is when people get all these credit cards they don't need. And around January is when they don't pay them off. What I'm trying to say is this. Get your money out of the bank so the bank cannot lend your money to somebody else. So they can have a good Christmas and you can struggle paying for yours come January 1st. Get your money. Pay for your Christmas. Enjoy yourself. And come January 1st. Or third, you find a bank that's going to best suit your needs and you put your money in the bank. Or, if you find that you can balance your money a hell of a lot better than whenever you use the ATM card, you're being charged $2 and $2.50 from somebody you don't know. Remember when they only charged $0.25 cents for the use of an ATM card? If you use your ATM card four times in a day, that's $10 of your money. And that's just to use other ATMs, not yours. Where's the logic? Do you have $10 to just give to some other bank because you stood in line in front of a machine with piss stains on the ground in front of it? I don't know. But I know this, and I will always say this. If the Federal Reserve Bank is a problem for the American people, as an American citizen who pays taxes, taxes that are placed into the Federal Reserve Bank, if I decide that we need a new bank, then maybe I should be able to say it out loud. Take my money out of the Federal Reserve Bank. You give me a list of Swiss banks to choose from, I might pick one that I like. But until then, this is your money. It does not belong to any bank, any government, or any system. You worked hard for this money, and you have the right to have it at your own home. I remember growing up as a child, my grandmother decided she wanted to buy a car. This was not a brand new car. She wanted to buy like a 78 Buick or something like that. They told this old black woman that she could not pay for a car with cash. My grandmother never used the banks. She never once put money in the banks until right before she died. And after she put the money in the banks, that's when she died. And the bank said, well, she didn't leave the money to nobody else. There, you get the picture. Bank of America, baby. Check it out. So listen. For all you Americans out there who are struggling, if you can afford to take your money out of the bank for two months, do that. Because that will show these people who control our funds. We put the money where we want to put it. We spend our money when we want to spend it. We spend it how we want to spend it. And we are tired and fed up of being charged to use our own money. If the bank wants to use your money, it uses your money freely without you even saying anything. You took your money to them. And now it's time for you to take your money home. Thank you. You've been too.